Okay. Now, the reason we're talking about earned schedule is because earned value is is a great tool. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's been around since the 50s. It's widely adopted um, it, across many, many different industries. I would say the heaviest users are probably the government, the military, um, aerospace. Those guys use earned value really heavily. There are some limitations, though. Like I was showing you, those forecasts of the project are always in dollars. Okay, so the estimate to complete the project, there's a couple others in there that are in terms of schedule, they're always in dollars. So that's a problem for us because we want to know what it's going to be in terms of time, in terms of duration. So for example, if I say you have a schedule variance of minus $4,500, doesn't, it doesn't really help you get the picture of what's going on. You know, my estimate to complete is 99555. Nine, you know, again, it would be really nice to have that, those values in terms of duration. Okay, so number two, there's another problem here. Schedule variance, shortened to SV, and schedule performance indicator, okay, SPI, these guys can behave erratically. And I'm going to show you in the next slide here. When projects are past their expected finish date, when we get into late situations where projects are going beyond the planned finish, so going beyond this here, budget at completion and out, then we start to see um, erratic behavior in SV and SPI. So SPI, if you remember, is a value, if you're performing exactly on schedule, the value is one, okay? If you're behind schedule, then you're less than one between zero and one. And if you're a, a performing, overperforming, your value can be one and up or a, more than one. But as we get closer to a deadline, um, SBI, if it's been low, like if, if we've been performing less than one, meaning we're late, as we get closer to the deadline, SBI always goes back to one. Okay, so that's a limitation of schedule performance indicator. So why does it do that? Let's look at the equations really quick, okay? Your earned value graph, your earned value line always ends here at budget at completion. And that's because the calculation for earned value is actually budget at completion times some sort of percent Okay, that's the calculation for earned value. So earned value goes from zero, but it always ends up at your budget at completion at the deadline. Planned value does the same thing. Obviously, it ends at the budget at completion at the deadline. So at the deadline, your schedule variance says earned value, which equals budget at completion, minus PV, which equals budget at completion. So they, they equal the same thing. So your schedule variance is zero. Now that that can, so what I'm saying is, let's say your project is three months late, but you're at the original deadline. Schedule variance, according to your baseline says, you're right on track, you're zero. There is no schedule variance, okay? But you're three months late. So that's a problem. Um, same thing SPI, because again, this is, EV equals budget at completion and PV equals budget at completion. So SBI tends to head towards one as we get to towards the deadline of a project. Okay. Notice I said deadline here. <laughs> um, I said deadline to just let you know that's the original project's finish date, the baseline finish date. Okay. So this is a, one of the problems that we have um, with earned value. Hey, it's Michael again. I really hope you found this video helpful. And just a quick reminder to let you know that we have some amazing Primavera P6 courses at plantacademy.com. And we offer full support for those who take courses with us. So we're here to help you 
answer your questions, and let you succeed with Primavera P6.